is Andy IBG. Today we are unboxing the Geek Fuel box. Now, one thing I'm going to point out right off the bat is holy crap, this box is huge. This is a lot larger than any other box we received from Geek Fuel. So I am curious, did I win something? Did, did I get something extra in my box that, like, did I... I, I'm gonna go ahead. Did, did I win something? I'm not sure. Or is there just an extra large item in here that everybody's getting? I will have to figure that out here in just a second. I have not seen any boxes or spoilers. I have stayed completely off um, anybody else's channel that does any other unboxings just to make sure that I don't get anything spoiled for any of the boxes that I get. So let's just go ahead and And take this mamma jamma and get right into it. Alright. Do my little fold flap. Hashtag Geek Fuel. Magazine's right on top. Let's do that last. And it looks like just the basic box with the extra large item in it. So let's just go ahead and do that. Maybe, if I can get this out without crap shooting all over the box. So first item out of the box is an extra large Dorbs, a Guardian of the Galaxy. Looks like we have received uh, Rocket the Raccoon. I don't see Groot anywhere in with it, but it is just Rocket the Raccoon. And there is um, Groot on the back for part of this collection. Um, now, I am not a Dorbs person. They just, the Dorbs fall really short with me. Um, I just don't, I don't like them. They're just basic dolls, no detail, no 3D detail. Like, it's just a, a blank canvas, um, and everything on it's just been painted on. I'm just, they're too plain for me. I'm not really a big fan of them. Uh, when it comes to figures, I, I like Funko Pops. I do collect the Funko Pops, but even more than, more than that, like, I love Q-Figs. Like, Q-Figs are awesome. Funkos are awesome. Uh, Funko Pops, I should say, because these are also made by Funko, uh, I believe, right? I'm pretty sure. Pretty positive. Oh, look, there's a price tag on the bottom. So it looks like this is, uh, would have normally cost me $25. So that is almost the complete price of the box plus shipping. In fact, I think it... No, I, I pay about 28 for this subscription, I think. Uh, but yeah, that is the entire subscription right there. First box. That's not bad. I'm not a big Dorbs person, so this will probably land somewhere else. Um, but that is a great item. That is an awesome item uh, to have in a box. It's definitely different than what we always receive. Um, not that we always receive any one specific type of thing in these boxes. is always pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's, it's different and I like it. Next item out of the box is a, the pin, which is, we got Super Fuel, which looks like it's a Superman pin, and it looks like the genre that they're covering this month is, uh, the Justice League, so, um, it looks like there's an equal amount of, uh, equal percentage of getting Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, uh, Cyborg, Flash, um, and the rare one is Aquaman. I am I love Aquaman. Um, I would have been happy with Batman, Aquaman, maybe Wonder Woman. Uh, the other three, not a big fan of Super Superman. I don't really know anything about Cyborg, and the the Flash is kind of boring to me. So. I love these pins, love them, but I would would have hoped for a different character. So there's that. Um, in the bottom of the box, we have the Steam game, which is called Space Jacked. Uh, can you, Space Technician Ace Dave Pervoski, defend your spaceship against the relentless horde of aliens? Expect arena shooter action, tower defense tension, and multi-arena madness. 
Um, as you know, I try to play all my Steam games on uh, my channel. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, my video card is starting to crap out, so I will be getting a new one shortly. So all of my computer games um, that I was playing for my channel are uh, just sort of pinned for later until I get my video card. Uh, I'm doing some console stuff for the channel right now. Um, but this will be played as soon as I get my new video card up and running, um, along with unpinning the rest of my computer games that I'm playing right now, which is pretty much all of them since I do my console gaming mostly on PC. Um, next item out of the box. Um, we have received one of these before, not quite like this, um, but this is a Time Traveler's tag, and it's a luggage tag. Uh, based off of Back to the Future. Now, I don't remember what box I received it in. It might have been a Geek Fuel, like, probably about a year ago. Um, but we received the, uh, um, the timestamp from the car, like, the, what year you're from, where you're going, like, um, uh, that one. This one is the actual license plate of the DeLorean, so, yeah. That's not a bad item. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is that the actual uh, loop for attaching your it to your bag is a piece of rubber, and that can tend to dry out really fast or be easily like it just snaps right off. Like it's it's very weak. And if you want to use this, I would suggest uh, getting just cutting that off yourself and putting your own on it, um, and then just hope that the uh, what do you call it, the rubber piece right there doesn't snap anytime soon, but um, they're not bad items. I like them, but they're just not um, long-term use friendly. So that's uh, one, two, three, four items out of the box, which means that the last item out of the box other than the spoiler card is the shirt. And we got a Wonder Woman shirt. Not bad. I have not received really any Wonder Woman items, so, um, and I've recently become, well, I've, I've been a fan of Wonder Woman. Um, I'm not so sure about the, this new one. I'll have to give that a little bit more time before I know which way I'm heading on that one. Um, uh, but yeah, I definitely really like the shirt. In the box you could have gotten, as I said, um, super or Superman, Batman, Wonderful Cy Cyborg, the F Flash, Aquabot, I mean, Aquaman, sorry, I'm saying that wrong because I'm reading these as I'm going and they have different names for them. So it's either Super Fuel, Batbot, Bat -Bot, uh, Wonder Fuel, Cybot, The Fuel, and Aquabot. Um, I'm going to give the pins because they're so unique. I love them. Um, even though I got Superman, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7 out of 10. I love these pins. Um, they're probably one of the main reasons I subscribe to uh, Geek Fuel now is they always give a, an amazing, amazingly creative item and the pin. Like, those are the two that I, I go for the most, and I love the shirts. But, yeah, I always go for that. Um, there's the Space Jacker Steam game. Um, I'm not sure if it's quite my cup of tea just from reading it. I mean, it, it's not bad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 5 out of 10. This is one of the lower items in the box, but still enjoyable. I will definitely play through it still. Um, the luggage tag it looks like that's the only one you could have gotten. And I love that it's Back to Future. Back to Future is one of my favorite movies of my past and I love that they included a Back to the Future item and it's the uh, the license plate. What I don't like is that it, it breaks quite easily so I am also going to give this item a 5 out of 10. Um, so there's that. Uh, next item is I'll say the Dorbs and there are a lot of ones you could have gotten. I am really surprised. Uh, there is Rocket, which we got. There's the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. There is Big Daddy from 
um, Bioshock. I was spacing on that one right there. There is Groot. There is uh, Robin from Batman and Robin. And Ant-Man. And I would say there was a better chance of me actually keeping the Dorbs if I would have gotten Big Daddy or Ant-Man. Uh, I love those two. I love bio playing through Bioshock. In fact, I've been thinking about playing it for my channel here pretty soon. Um, I definitely love Rocket and Groot as well because I'm a huge Guardians of the Galaxy fan. But in the end, it's a Dorbs. Um, it's a Dorbs. No, it's a Dorbs. Oh my gosh. No. Uh, it is of the Dorbs collection. Um, so it'll probably end up elsewhere. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 6 out of 10. That's about as far as I can go with that one. Um, and the last item out of the box is the Wonder Woman t-shirt, which you saw. I really like this shirt. I'm definitely going to be wearing it. Um, have been a fan of Wonder Woman for a while. Um, just got to check out the new uh, Wonder Woman. Um, I did see the brief uh, section that she had in uh, Batman vs Superman, but that is all I have seen. Um, so I'll have to check that out. I'm going to go ahead and give that a 8 out of 10. It is my favorite item out of the box. Um, and that is that. In the Geek Fuel magazine, uh, I'm just going to give you a, a quick um, flip through, just tell you what's in it. I probably won't post any pictures because it will be super quick. Um, there is a remembering George A. Romero because he has passed away, uh, mostly uh, known for his horror movies. Um, and he has done a lot over the years that people have loved. So it was sad to see him go. Um, I particularly, I don't know if I've ever really watched a lot of his stuff. I have seen a few things, but uh, not enough to really get a true sense of, of who he was and how his movies were. Um, there's a little blurb in here on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, the SNES, um, and uh, how they're releasing the the mini of it, which I know there is a lot of conflict right now over that with uh, how many they release and scalpers and all that other stuff. Uh, I will not be going for one. I have one of the original one and I have over 30 games for it, cartridge games for it, and I'd much rather stick to getting more cartridge games. Um, this is um, Game of Thrones. Five fan theories. Obviously, I cannot read this. I've never seen a single episode of Game of Thrones in my life. Uh, I will soon. Um, I am a binge watcher. I like to wait till things end and then just boom, all the way through it. I don't like being, um, have to wait on cliffhangers. It's just, that is the most annoying thing ever. So, uh, I do that and then they speak a little bit about some of the games coming out. Uh, there's Uncharted, The Lost Legacy for the PS4. Huge Uncharted fan. Um, I love those, those games, so I will be going towards that one. Uh, Sonic Mania. I uh, don't really know a whole lot about, but they're releasing that for the Xbox One. Uh, Mega Man Legacy Collection 2 for the Nintendo Switch. They're also releasing it for Steam as well, which um, that's the only one I really know about. I'm sure they're releasing some of these other ones, but... I am currently playing through uh, the Legacy Collection 1 on my channel. I am on Mega Man 3. Um, so I will definitely be picking that up really soon. Um, and there's a little blurb on the featured Steam game, Space Jacked. And then they give you the little um, geek gift guide, just ideas. Usually the first one is always incredibly out of our price range. Uh, 56 grand for life-size Iron Man Mark collection. Um, that would be an awesome thing to have, but yeah, that's never going to be in my collection. I, I would love to have it. But they give little geek gear ideas, like well, the R2-D2 coffee press, like how genius is that? Some of the items I look up and see if I want to pick up, some not. But yeah, I like to go through that, take a look. Uh, looking at the YouTubers and fellow unboxers on the back page, um, only one that I recognize is the Half Geek unboxer 
up here at the top. That's about it. That's the box. Uh, tell me if you liked uh, the majority of the items that came in the box. Uh, tell me what you didn't like. And, uh, I don't know. Just shoot out a general comment if you want to. That was the Geekfield box. And until our next unboxing, later dudes!